Teresa Freed with Johnson County Government. It's our goal to stop the spread of COVID-19 in our community. We also want to make sure you have the latest information on our efforts. For data on how COVID-19 is impacting the county, visit our dashboard on jocogov.org. We look at um, uh, data in different ways. Um, we do have some of them on the dashboard uh, for you to uh, follow and track uh, the trend. Um, regarding uh, infection uh, rates and, and uh, positivity rate and other uh, uh, data points uh, related to COVID-19. Um, this past week, as we typically look at our data so we can um, uh, make sure that we are providing the appropriate guidance and information to the public, uh, one of those ones that uh, uh, raised some concerns was the positivity rate because of the sharp increase. And typically when we see that, we are concerned that um, it, it kind of gives, gives us a, uh, an early indication that our rates is about to increase, w which it is. Our, our numbers are going up. This week alone, we are already up to over 700 cases and we are on track to really uh, have our highest num weekly number since the um, response began. And so what we'll do when we look at those numbers is spot check, look at what's going on. And, and we found on Tuesday that some of the uh, negative numbers uh, were not uh, uploaded. And the way that the data works is the laboratory uh, electronically feeds those data into the uh, KDHE, the State uh, Health uh, Department uh, system. And then we download those. And so um, uh, we get anything between 12,000 to 14,000 records in a week. So we investigation did show that is about a thousand of those negative results were not uploaded over a two week period. In the grand scheme of things, uh, it's gonna make some difference, not a whole lot. Um, but we do uh, need the data to be uh, uploaded and we've worked with the lab and KDHE and that will be updated. Um, I do want to um, again stress that all of our cases, meaning people that are tested positive, those who are not impacted, and we were able to do our case investigations and contact the cases. So no one should unknowingly be walking around with, the, uh, with COVID and not be aware of that. That's not what's impacted here. What's impacted, which is it would uh, give a, probably an exaggerated uh, positivity rate is the denominator missing some of the negative numbers. So when those are included, the number may drop some. It might, uh, not just in magnitude, it might change the slope, but that's it. It's not, uh, it's not uh, it doesn't impact our cases. The numbers are going up. The positivity rate will still be higher than it was a couple of weeks ago when we went down to below six. So our responsibilities remain the same to work even harder to break the transmission. We want to be very clear that now uh, across uh, uh, the region in Johnson County, across the country, we are seeing a spike in the number of infections. That is concerning. And especially as we go into Halloween, uh, Thanksgiving and the cooler months, when we are beginning to lose some of the advantages that the outdoors provide during this uh, 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 pandemic response. We're gonna spend more time indoors, and the virus does love the indoor environment. So uh, we've done pretty well, but we need to do even more. Over the past two to three months, we've succeeded in keeping our weekly infection, daily infection rate within a narrow range. It's starting to go up. What we do now will determine whether we lose control of the virus or we'll keep it under control. And so, um, so the, the thing to note is also on our website, we're pretty clear that uh, the data that you see could change. And, and ideally this happens all the time. We, uh, it takes time to really verify data because there are changes that typically will happen. And that's what's happened here. But the good thing was uh, we picked that up quickly and we worked to rect rectify that. And so um, again, um, uh, know that um, um, it will take weeks in some cases uh, a few weeks uh, sometimes uh, for data to be completely accurate. And so um, those things do happen. Um, uh, we, are, uh, we want to be as transparent as we can. We'll continue to inform you when those things happen so you can take those into consideration.
Thank you. For more information about COVID-19 in Johnson County, visit jococov.org forward slash coronavirus. You can also subscribe to a daily e-newsletter with the latest data and precautions being taken in the county and state.